everyone welcome back to our channel design on a dollar I'm your host Ida and today I am going to do a another lampshade it's, it's going to be a chandelier lamp, lampshade like I did in the revamp upcycle in the, our last video but I wanted to show you guys what you can do if you don't have that type of um, lampshade that I have that has the the three things in it plus the holes so I wanted to show you a method that you could use to achieve the same look that I did so if you're interested in that just keep watching so for this DIY you want okay fam so you have to have a lampshade of course a wire reform and some crystals so the wire reform I had to use was a Walmart one because the Dollar Tree one was too big. So I'm taking the um, Walmart reform and I'm putting it inside of my lampshade. You can place it right side up or you can place it um, upside down. And what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to put hot glue around the perimeter of the lampshade I mean the wire reform now guys this video may jump around a little bit because I originally start recording this on the other video but it was too long so I cut those pieces out and put this video together so now you're going to see me put the the um oh yeah I'm sorry guys so the first thing you would do would be to take your reform and your lampshade outside and you would um, paint them the color of your choice and then you will come back in and you will place the hot glue um, you can also use Gorilla Glue Sticks and you can use E6000 or uh, some other epi stronger pieces but for the um, sake of the video I'm just using Gorilla Glue Sticks and um, I will tell you later on that you can uh, reinforce it with the E6000. So as you can see, I'm just going around the perimeter with the hot glue and I'm doing a zigzag motion so that the hot glue can get on the top and the bottom of the wiry. So it can be secured better to the lampshade. Okay guys, so after that dries, I'm going to decide how many strands of drops I want on each layer. Of course you know that some of the teardrops that we did well I said teardrops and raindrops um, I'm sorry guys so like I said we're going to determine how many drops we want in each section and this particular section has six reform has six sections so I'm going to divide an even amount of gems and strands with each section and each row I think that's how I want to say it so the first row which is the outer row is the largest um, reef and it's and I mean it's the widest of the form and that would be your shortest layer and up here I will have um, four rows four strands in each section the second row which will be your middle row I will have three strands with three or four drops on it on that row and on the third and final row which will be your long layer I will have two strands in each sections two long strands in each section And so you're going to see in the next clip is where this kind of jumbles up for a second. You're going to see me reapplying the um, glue to the 
lampshade in the reform but I'm just putting the each strand on and I am making sure that the glue is on both sides of the jump string jump ring and guys I'm sorry I'm saying um so much just forgive me please and that was that would be what your shortest link would look like but I'm going to continue on and I'm going to use makeup several different strands and I'm going to place those strands on each one of the sections by the amount of strands I want to put in each section it's kind of hard to explain but it's it's easy to do you're going to put for the outer row and put four strands on it and then the third row I'm going to put three strands and then the first row I'm going to put two strands of them on it and each layer as you go in drops you can put on and I call in that one right there a teardrop and the flat one a raindrop so here's what I'm showing you again where the it's going backwards and that's what it looks like with everything secured in and in this clip forward um, it should be straightened out so the next clip you see will be me actually attaching all of the crystals to the wire reform and guys I'm only doing a demo I'm only going to do two sections I'm going to do a front section and a back section because it's a demo and if you want to see the full look of it you can look at the previous video which I will link in the eye in the sky so you can see what the whole entire um, lampshade would look like but I always want to show you guys a different method of achieving the same thing that I have done. And this this DIY the the, the most you would pay for would be the crystals because if you find a lampshade at the thrift store um, that is the same circumference of the um, Dollar Tree reform, you can use that and then you can get the crystals from the Wish app. Sometimes you can find them free up there, but it does take a while for them to get there. And you can always get them from Amazon. You'll pay a little bit more, but you'll get them faster. And as well as the drops, you can find the drops on the Wish app sometimes for free. And you just have to pay the shipping and handling, but it will take you a minute to get them. So I'm showing you that I'm just laying out my crystal strands, trying to decide how many I'm going to put on each um, drop. And then I'm going to make some, several of them up enough for to fill up the one front section and one back section. And I'm showing you here that the Dollar Tree one is bigger, so you would add more strands to it than the Walmart one because you're, you're covering a larger space. So now I have all the strands laid out and I have the small, the medium, then the large. And I'm going to commence to put in each section on the wire reform. And as I said, this is a demo. I'm going, I'm going to do one front section and one back section. And guys, it's fairly easy to do. You just take the jump ring and I'm showing you how many I put on that this particular layer, which is the shortest layer along with the drop. And you want to take that jump ring and you're going to um, put it around the that wire section, the first wire section. 
and it can get kind of tricky especially if you have your nails on but you are going to put that jump ring around it you're going to place all of the ones that you want in that section on I would advise you not to glue it down as of yet just put it on in this way once you get all of the strands on that you're going to put in that section you can even them out space them out evenly so that um, the lampshade will look uniformed so I have all four of the ones that I'm going to put on the first row which is the shortest row and I'm just showing you here that I'm placing them how I'm placing them and then I'm going to go ahead and put it on the second on the back side so now we have the front and the back done so you're going to spread the strands out evenly and I did I put one closest to one section in and one or towards the other section in and then I placed the two in the middle halfway in between the first and the last one that that's the only way I can explain it and now I'm securing it I'm securing it with the front and the back of the jump ring you're securing it so that it will still have movement you don't want the strand to be stuck where it doesn't have any free form movement so you just want to make sure you get it on that one jump ring and I'm gonna do that to both sides and then I am going to start placing my second layer on and when I place my second layer on I'm going to put three three strands on and I'm going to make sure that those three strands are in between the first four strands so you will have one between the one in the middle and one between the front and the second one and one between the third one and fourth one I'm just getting ready to um, put the other strands on. I'm just showing you that. Um so I put um, a strand between each one of the open spaces. And then what I'll do with the two is put one here and one here. So I wanted to show you how I was spacing them out. So we have all of the layers on on each side on the front and the back side and I'm praying that this is going to show you give you an idea of what it's going to look like when the other four sections are filled for you guys now um, the lamp shade that the lamp that I'm going to use is the lamp from the previous DIY okay fam so I hope you can get the general idea of what it would look like um, with the floor wiring it looks exactly like our other one except for the crystals are just shorter because like I said this was a demo but I think you will be pleasantly surprised at the way it turns out for you and I have the lights on now and I'm going to turn them off for you and here it is with the lights off so it just goes to show you that just because you don't have the exact tools that your DIYer uses to make something doesn't mean that you can't do it in your own manner and receive the same results so don't forget to rate comment subscribe like and share and until next time guys I love you bye bye